हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज आईएसआई एम मैथ 2019 का पेपर सॉल्व होगा ओके इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी सॉल्विंग आई एस आई एम मैथ ट्वेंटी फुल सॉल्यूशन विल बी प्रोवाइडेड ओके सो लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट पॉइंट सो सब्जेक्टिव पार्ट सो लेट एफ ऑफ आर जो आर बी कॉन्टीन्यूस फंक्शन satisfying this condition limit extends to infinity f x or limit extends to minus infinity f x so that the yeah, so that f is bounded uh, f is a bounded function on r and attains maximum or a minimum and attains maximum or a minimum give an example to show that it attains a maximum but not a minimum okay so let's see this so this is on real analysis this question so if we assume that f is non negative so that is fx greater than equal to 0 so for x greater than equal to 0 so if fx equal to 0 for all x are then obviously f is bounded and attains its maximum or minimal at each point so let f of x 0 greater than 0 for some x 0 belongs to r so by assumption there exists a c greater than x 0 such that for all x greater than c and for all x less than minus c so 0 f x f of x zero we can say now let g x be a restriction for f to minus c to c dot g minus c to c belongs to R so this is a continuous function on a compact uh, on a compact segment so hence g is bounded and attains its maximum value on this interval that is there exist x1 belongs to c1 c minus c2 plus c this such that g of x1 equal to max of x belongs to minus c to c g of x so we check the function f attains its maximal value So obviously, f x equal to g x less than equal to g of x plus x one equal to f of x one. So now let x greater than c or x less than minus c. So x zero as this interval and f x less than f of x zero. So g of x zero. Less than g of x one equal to f of x one. So for such values of x belongs to R. So zero less than equal to f x less than equal to f of x one. So f is bounded and attains its maximum value. So it part is done. Now for the second a zone. So f r to r be a continuous function and this satisfies this condition. Then uh, the given condition. Then h x mod of f x is a non-negative continuous function, and that is also satisfying the same function. So, but from uh, the part one, h is bounded. We have done, and that is maximum value. Okay. So it means that there exists x one which belongs to R such that for x belongs to R. Zero less than equal to h x mod of f x less than equal to h of x one equal to mod of f of x one. Okay, so for all x belongs to R minus of f of x one less than equal to f x less than equal to mod of f of x one. Okay, so the function is bounded. Now, if f of x one greater than equal to zero, then f of x one equal to mod of f of x one, and f attains the maximum value. So, if f of x one less than equal to zero, then f of x one is minus mod of x one, and f attains minimum value. This is the max, and this is the minimum. Now, in the last part, now if we take a function. 
the given function which is given so fx equal to 1 by 1 plus x square so this is a continuous non-negative function follows a given condition in particular so infimum if we take x belongs to our fx equal to 0 so further 0 fx 1 equal to f0 so the function f attains its maximal value at x equal to 0 so for all x greater than 0 obviously fx will be greater than 0 and the function f does not attain its minimum value no minimum value okay so let's go to the next one in question number two let g zero one this is also from real analysis continuous function such that g of 1 equal to 0, we need to show that supremum xn is of gx greater than 0 at n x equal to x. So, how to do this? Function g is bounded. And it's a continuous function on a compact interval. So, let c equal to supremum x belongs to 0 to 1 mod of gx that is less than infinity so we fix this by the assumption that there exists uh, sigma that belongs to 0 to 1 in the open interval such that x belongs to 1 minus sigma comma 1 in the semi open interval and mod of gx less than equal to okay so now n greater than equal to 1 for such that c 1 minus sigma all to the power n oh, sorry less than equal to this now here you need to observe one thing so that we have reached till this but uh, the structural uh, pattern we have used supremum so supremum why we have used because we want to reach to the maximum possible uh, attainable uh, value okay so in that case we don't have any other option left okay now if 0 less than equal to x 1 minus sigma then mod of x to the power n g x less than equal to 1 minus sigma whole to the power n mod gx less than equal to 1 minus mod whole to the power n c less than equal to epsilon so in any case so in any case so this x to the power n gx less than equal to epsilon so this supremum value here x to the power n gx whole mod is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to a so since epsilon is positive and uh, is an arbitrary so this proves um, the needed convergence so this converges to zero hence proved 